Diamonds are girls' best friend. Well, whether the statement is true or not is still under debate. It is definitely not true when she finds out the very diamond that you gave her on the wedding isn't real. To avoid that kind of embarrassing moment from happening, I'm going to show you a couple of methods to testify its authenticity. Recently, I got some diamonds from an online dealer to explore the chemical property of diamonds, but I noticed something odd about them. Well, at least one of them. Let me just take them out of the vial so we can have a better look of them. I got those from two different suppliers, and both were claimed to be diamonds. They are very similar in size, and they were cut in the same style. Both of them has great clarity. Even under this level of magnification, no internal defects are observed. The only visible difference is the diamond on the left is slightly tinted with the yellow color. For colorless diamonds, the clearer the color is, the higher the price goes. But surprisingly, the one on the right somehow cost me less. Just for the sake of convenience, I'm gonna label the colorless one as diamond A and the tinted one as diamond B. Diamond has a high reflect index value compared to many other transparent material. When light passes through a media at a certain angle, it will be bent to a degree depending on its reflective index. Okay, actually, there is a way easier approach to this, rather than having a such a sophisticated setup. I simply draw the line on a piece of white paper and put a diamond on top of it. Due to diamond's high reflect property, it makes it much harder to observe the black line underneath as the light is highly scattered. For diamond A, even though the line underneath is highly distorted, it is still somewhat visible. And for diamond B, the black line underneath appears to be even less visible. Well, maybe just because diamond B is slightly tinted. Mm, it's very hard to tell. Again, the accuracy of this test is highly dependent on factors like the way the diamond is cut, and the size of the diamond, etc. Okay, the previous method seems a little too sketchy. Let's get on with a better one. In a diamond, each carbon is surrounded by four neighboring carbon atoms forming a tetrahedral-shaped unit. The network covalent bonding force is incredibly strong, which makes a diamond the hardest substance known to man. So this piece of microscope slide should stand no chance against them if they are real diamonds. Okay, something is already happening. Is the scratch? Mm. Okay, this is definitely a scratch. So diamond A passes this test. Okay, let's move on with diamond B. And uh, as expected, it scratched the glass with no difficulties. Both of them were able to leave a mark on the glass, so maybe I just got a really good deal. Well, you see the problem here is the glass only has the most hardness value around 6, and there are shit tons of minerals that are harder than that. Okay, now we need to step up the game and try a lot harder. An interesting fact about iPhone is that the main camera lens is made of synthetic sapphire, which has a most hardness value about 9. This makes it a very good test reference to identify fake diamonds. Similar to what I did with the glass slide, I position the pointing tip against the lens and apply a vertical force to the lens. By using a pair of tweezers, a horizontal force is applied to move the diamond against the surface of the lens. And uh, let's see how Diamond A went on this test. And sadly, there is nothing. No scratch, no marks. It is a bust. I'm disappointed, but not really surprised. The moral of the story is, you only get what you pay for. Okay, let's move on to Diamond B, see if we can get some positive result out of this one. Hope it works, cause I don't want to show for another diamond. And uh, there it is. 
First time I got so excited destroying something this memorable. Let's give a moment to grieve for the passing of my beloved friend who sacrificed himself for the sake of science. Okay, back on the topic. This result highly suggests that the diamond B is real. Please be aware that this test itself is not perfect either. There are a few minerals out there that are even harder than sapphire. A particular example of this is silicon carbide, which has a hardness value of 9.5. Even though it does not guarantee the test subjects with positive results being authentic, it is still nonetheless a very good method to spot most type of fake diamonds on the market. Every substance has its specific density. The density of diamond is around 3.5 to 3.53 grams per cubic centimeter. Depending on the amount of impurity, it may vary a little. The reading on the scale for diamond B is 0.018 grams. Just out of curiosity, I put a fake diamond on the scale and see how much it weighs. And as expected, the fake ones weigh a lot more for the same size. The density of a substance equal to the mass of the substance divided by its volume. Since the shape of a diamond is not exactly regular, so it can be pretty difficult to determine its volume by pure mathematics. However, there is an easy fix. By using this improvised apparatus, we can determine the volume of the diamond quite easily. I place a beaker with distilled water on the scale and suspend the apparatus over the beaker. The amount of water in the beaker is not critical, but it should be enough to submerge the end of the combustion spoon. Then I tear the scale to zero. I then place the diamond onto the combustion spoon and the scale shows a reading of 0.05 grams. Let me explain what just happened here. When the diamond was placed on the combustion spoon, it caused the water level to rise. The rise of volume of water is equivalent to the volume of diamond. The volume on the scale shows the water mass corresponding the volume of water that rise. Since the density of water is 1 gram per cubic centimeter, the density of diamond B can be easily calculated by the step I showed above. The result is very close to the actual data. The small difference there is likely due to that my skill are not quite reached the level of accuracy needed for this delicate test. Anyway, at this point we can pretty much conclude that we have a real diamond that we can mess around with. As you will see in my next video where I put the diamond into various assays to test for its chemical resistance. If you don't want to miss out on that video, click the subscribe button below if you haven't already. A big thank you goes to all my supporters on Patreon. Everyone support me on Patreon get to see my video 24 hours before I release to YouTube. If you are feeling generous, please do consider visiting my Patreon page. Your help will make a big difference.